that is how we like to start. Hope y'all having a wonderful day. Have a special nine hole round in store for today's vlog. We're gonna be vlogging all nine holes out here at the course at Swanee here in Tennessee, just in between Nashville and Chattanooga. An awesome little layout here. Been looking forward to coming out here and playing this course. So we're gonna play all nine. Yes, there's only nine holes here at Swanee, but it's kind of cool. You can play different tees, like if you wanna play it twice to change up the par on different holes. It's a super cool layout. Very excited about teeing it up. So we're just gonna head straight to the first tee. Let's go. Like I said, you do have options on each hole for what tees you wanna play from. The first hole here we are gonna play is a par five. There's the fairway heading straight back towards the end, 550 yards roughly from this tee box. We'll take that tee shot to start every day, all day. Here's where my ball ended up. No view of the green from here. It's up over this hill here. So I am gonna put the camera further back so you can see a little bit of the shape of this second shot. 245 yards left to the center of the green. Little right. However, we missed it in the proper place. Have a pretty decent look here at an up and down for the birdie. Landed that a little too short to get up and over that ridge. There's a ridge there, a little short of the pin. Didn't quite get it over it. Still have a look for birdie. Pretty good break from right to left. Just need to get the speed right. That is how we like to start with rolling the rock. Birdie on one, one under. These greens look good, they roll good, they're pure. Looks like back to back par fives to start. 548 is where we're gonna play it from, par five, number two. Looks like this hole bends just a little to the right. Green kind of sets back right in there. I think our aiming point is gonna be that bunker. That bunker is not reachable. First bunker you see is carryable. Second one is not. Honestly, not really sure what's down there. We're gonna find out. All right, walking up here. Not the ideal tee shot. We are down in the cabbage, little off the rough in the deep stuff. About 250 yards left, not in great shape. Don't have a good angle here. Pitch and wedge, middle of the fairway. Middle pin, 97 yards left. I'm gonna chip a little sand wedge. It's a bit up the hill. Probably gonna get a little spin on it. Throw it a few feet past, a few yards past. Pull it on back. Maybe a little long, we'll find out. Walking up here, we are a bit long right there. Kinda might have misjudged that uphill just a bit, but we're putting. Par five on number two. One of the craziest views I've ever seen on a course is up here by the green. Par 3, 165. Tee box is a little further back than it said there on the plate. Playing it from a little over 180. I'm going to hit a little three-quarter 
seven iron. A little right, pushing a few of these shots so far this morning. We'll get it tuned in. Walking up to the green, I had to show y'all this view. Are you kidding me? This is incredible. There's our ball, but that is just a side note to this view. Wow. I don't know if I've ever been on a green with that kind of view. I mean, you can see, I couldn't even tell you how many miles. A long, long ways. Number four, par four, 278. Looks like this one's drivable. I didn't come here to lay up. We are hitting driver. Gonna need to take a little off this. Hopefully just a little easy butter cut in there, right on the green. I don't know if you saw that. I hit that a lot better than I wish I would have. That landed almost right over the pin, but back of the green and definitely hopped along. This is a very small green. Landed somewhere back in there, hopped along. Hopefully we can find this. This is what we're faced with. There it is. Not in good shape. Probably wouldn't hit driver here in the future. I don't really have anywhere to put the camera down there, so I'm gonna put it behind the hole. You're not gonna see me. Hopefully you see the ball up close to the pin, maybe not, we'll see. Go in. And that just rolled out to 15 feet. That is really quick down that hill. Quick as that was down the hill, a little slower up the hill. Thought I gave it enough, guess not. That's a par here on four. Number five, par three, 210 yards are roughly there about. We'll see where we're hitting from. I'll let you know the yardage. From the T markers, it's gonna be playing 188. Pretty flat it looks like. That pin is set just to the right of that tree you see. Pretty much right in the middle of the green. Seven iron, we're gonna take dead aim. Should be okay, but not where we wanted it. Another incredible view off the back side of this par three green. Looks like the green opened up a little bit on the left, so we are okay. Just hung on the edge of the green there. What a view. A little short, didn't give that enough credit. Putting back up the hill there. Thought that was moving a little bit left, but since that's a cliff down there, I should have known it probably wasn't going right. Ah, uh, that's a bogey. Number six, par four, 402 yards. Number six here looks like a good par four. Pretty sure we're able to carry this bunker right there. So should be driver up the right side. Looks like it bends a little to the left. Might have pulled that one a little bit. You can see the pin kind of right through that gap. I don't think that that's the play. There's a little piece of green out here. I think we're just going to kind of play this out right. If it funnels left, great. If it doesn't, hopefully we're putting. I'm just going to chip a little pitching wedge. Oh, 
All right, right here on the right side, plenty of green to work with. See if we can't get this up and down. We really need to start hitting the tee balls a little better. We are spraying it a bit at the moment. Yeah. All right, in with the par. No damage done there here on number six, on to number seven. Number seven, par four, 391. Considering I have not hit my driver very well today, we're gonna go ahead and sting this one. We're gonna hit it right at that bunker right there. Shouldn't be able to reach that. I believe it's probably about 280 off the tee. Hit that one really good, had a little bit of a draw on it. Can't see it landing in the fairway because of the sun shining on the fairway. I think it got around that left bunker. We'll go up there and find out. Hit it well, however, did a little bit overdraw that from what I was wanting to do. Big slope here in the fairway from right to left. Thought I might've snuck around the bunker. Gotta show you this, we didn't make it by much. This is the angle from the tee box. So it would have rolled up in here, just missing the bunker and look where it ended up. We are a-okay, just in the rough greens up over that hill. 165 left, nine iron in hand. Maybe a little right, but should be okay. A little short, a little right, a lot of green to work with. See if we can't get this up and down, gap wedge in hand. That was huge. Let's go. All right, on to number eight. Number eight, par four, 313. All right, so I just realized, I think I played a tee box for the back nine when you would play this nine again. That was not borderline drivable. That's a long ways. No idea how far it was from here. Thought that green looked like it was a long ways away. Another missed fairway off the tee box. Got a little gap wedge here. It's about 90 yards to the pin. Need to keep it below this tree. Not the best angle from here. Let's knock it on the green. It's really gonna be tough to hold the grain coming out of the rough, low. It's up there, we got a putt. We were coming from right over in there. Here's where we ended up. Actually, not bad at all. About 20 feet left for the birdie. There's gonna be a very quick putt down this hill, all sloping down towards the front of the grain. Not a bad putt, a couple feet coming back. All right, par on number eight, four. I really can't believe this nine is already almost over. We're through eight holes, we're even par on the day. A lot of scrambling. This course is no joke. You can put yourself in some situations that can be very difficult to make pars. We've made one bogey and one birdie today so far. Would love to come back another time and play some other tee boxes to see how some of these holes play uh, from different yardages. That's what's really cool about this course. You can play here twice and really play a lot of very different holes. It's a lot of fun. 
Really enjoyed this round so far. Let's see if we can't end with a birdie here on nine. Let's go. Number nine, 488 from all the way back. I've pretty much played the back box on every single hole today. So we're not gonna probably change that up. We're just gonna play this as a par four instead of the par five. Dead straight away. See if we can't miss that bunker just to the left. I've not hit driver well today. Would love to end with a good one right here. Let's go. Ended with a good drive right there. That's what we're looking for. Hit that about 300 yards. It's a little up the hill slightly and was a little into the breeze. Hit that one well, 200 yards left to the pin. We've got six iron in hand. That is how we wanted to end it here on nine, about a 20 footer left for birdie. Par there. Hope y'all enjoy getting a little look into the golf course at Swanee. This place is awesome. Definitely a hidden gem for sure. It's right in between Nashville, Chattanooga. Check it out if you're in this part of the country. Worth the stop for sure. Didn't have our best ball striking today. Scrambled at times, got the ball in the hole, even par on the day. You know, of course I've never seen, we'll take it. Had so much fun, really enjoyed this course. Until next time, we'll see you when we see you.